Talofa, Malalaim, Bulla, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 79 of Breakfast Bites by TableVoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on a cloudy but bright Tuesday morning, 21 March 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In Rugby, Steve Hansen says World Number 1 Ireland's haunting Rugby World Cup record would see them labelled chokers if they were the All Blacks. The former All Blacks coach helped New Zealand win the Rugby World Cup in 2011 and again in 2015, noted that the tournament remains Achille, uh, Ireland's Achilles heel. And he said this as Ireland lifted the Six Nations title on the weekend. In Rugby League, when you compare Felice Kaufusi's Grade 2 charge to Sydney Roosters star Joseph Sua'ali'i's Grade 1 dangerous contact hit in their second round game against the New Zealand Warriors, it was more forceful and later than Kaufusi's hit. So, will his charge be downgraded so that the Tongan Warrior can play against the Broncos this weekend? With the Broncos and the Dolphins 3-0 to start the new season, the city of Brisbane is on fire for round four. And Wayne Bennett has already cranked the mind games up, saying there's no pressure on his team leading into their Suncorp Stadium blockbuster this weekend. Yet knowing how competitive Bennett is, the one game that he would have circled on the calendar for the Dolphins to try and win is this one against the Broncos, where he won five NRL premierships with Kevin Walters as playmaker. In boxing, finally, some progress. The World Boxing Association has given Alexander Usyk and WBC champion Tyson Fury until 1 April, that's right, April's Fool's Day, to agree on the terms of a World Heavyweight Championship unification belt. Or, the WBA says they will order Usyk to defend his uh, title against WBA contender Daniel Dubois. According to the WBA, 10th March was the deadline for the initial negotiations, after which Usyk and Fury's teams confirmed that the fight was going to take place. Now the, the WA has given them this new deadline in hopes that the fight can take place, since it is what the fans are asking for and what the whole boxing world is waiting for. In football, former Juventus striker Christian Bonino was left red-faced and with a red card, even before coming on as a substitute in a Serie C game in the 76th minute on Sunday, after he was seen discreetly urinating on the side of the pitch by one of the match officials and shown a red card by the referee. Jeez, you got a feel for the guy. I mean, when nature calls... For the record, the game ended in a nil-all draw. For TaveOverSports.com, I'm Kaldan Kamea. Mahalo vina'a and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all to Mars for all your love and support.